And joining us now in the studio is Jack Valero, the founder of Catholic Voices in the United Kingdom. Thank you very much for coming in, Jack. So, uh, the latest changes from the Pope requires bishops to report sexual abuse as opposed to before when it was down to individual conscience. So, how much of a difference do you think this will make? Oh, I think it will make a difference. I'm very happy as a Catholic that this document has come out. In fact, it's the fruit of the meeting that was held in February where the Pope called the head of the Catholic Church in all the countries of the world so that they could understand the nature of the problem, the magnitude of the problem, and we could be converted and put norms into effect. Back then, the victims had said, well, nothing practical has come out. And the Pope said, no, we need to work on the practical. And this is the practical things that are coming out now, these rules, whereby everybody must report with us within a certain number of days to their superiors, and everybody must follow all the civil authority rules. So, for example, in this country, uh, where the rules work very well, there's mandatory reporting, and that's already working. But this isn't the case all around the world. So, basically, this will be now universal all around the world. So, but this agreed um, allows them also directly to report to the Vatican um, to report abuse. Exactly. So, will this make um, a difference in preventing the cover-ups? I think so. I think that um, when, when the things started coming out in a big way, rules for safeguarding were put in place. And the amount of abuse that's happened since then, since the early 2000s, has gone right down. But we're still finding out things from the past that we were covered up. And uh, we, we also didn't have a system to deal with bishops who didn't do their job. And this document, I mean, more or less half of the document deals with how to deal with bishops who don't do their job in dealing with sexual abuse. And, and another thing that I found very interesting is the widening of the concept of sexual abuse, because before we'd been talking about minors and vulnerable adults, and now it says, well, any action whereby somebody is forced to have sex or to do some sexual activity through abuse of power is considered a sexual abuse. So now this will include the things with nuns and seminarians we've been hearing about recently, which hadn't been tackled before. So I think it's a wider remit, and it's very good. So as a Catholic, I, I'm very much happier that this is being tackled in a very practical way. So the abuse scandals, though, have rocked the Catholic Church's reputation. Do you think this will help in regaining in that trust and, and uh, repairing its reputation? Of course, we must regain the trust, but this, in the end, will, will be with the people, with, you know, with the public, that we, we must act with integrity for long enough to, for people to say, yes, this is now working. And my dream is for the Church, not just to repair itself and to deal with this problem, but to lead in the fight against sexual abuse all around the world in all institutions. You know, that's my dream as a Catholic, that the bishops and the Pope get it right so that they can also help other people. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for coming in Thank and you. for sharing that, Jack Valdera.